This instructional video is intended for individuals who have lost upper extremity function through events such as Parkinson's disease, stroke, or other injuries. The end goal is to have the individual independently drink out of different types of cups while sitting. Critical factors are the skill components which are necessary for successful execution. For this skill, it means that the individual must have the ability to reach, grab, and lift various cups. The flexible factors are the movements that can vary from individual to individual that does not affect the completion of the task. For example, lifting a pinky does not affect one's ability to perform the task. Gentile's taxonomy would classify this skill as 2B, meaning stationary regulatory conditions, intertrial variability, body stability, and object manipulation. In order to reach the goal, this task can be broken down into two simpler skills, opening and closing the hand, and lifting the arm with the elbow bent, preferably while holding an object. For opening and closing of the hand, we would have the individual lightly squeeze a stress ball, placing the skill in 1B. For lifting the arm, we would have them use an elastic band to perform a bicep curl, also placing the skill in 1B. In 1B, there are stationary regulatory conditions, body stability, object manipulation, and no intertrial variability. Two methods that would increase skill difficulty would be to increase resistance and increase repetitions. The patient may advance to a skill more difficult and complex once they can hold a mug for more than 10 seconds while sitting as 10 seconds is typically sufficient to drink from a cup. As a patient meets the 10 second requirement, they can add more liquid to their cups to increase difficulty and hold different types of cups to increase complexity.